Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to the special edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch. It is that time of the week again to count down the 10 hottest cards of the week. Yeah, there's a lot of reserveless cards here again, but not all 10, a little better than last week at least. I will say this though, I do think that trend is starting to wind down a little bit. You're not going to see numbers as extreme this time compared to the videos we've been doing over the last, say, month and a half or so. There are still reserveless cards jumping up in value, but I do feel like people are going back and looking at some of the cheaper ones that were missed and maybe just picking them up simply because they're afraid they're going to jump up in value. In other cases, there are still speculative buyouts going on. We'll see all that in just a second. Quickly before we get into it, though, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use that Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, Time Spiral Remastered products are up on their website for pre-order. That's a set I'm very excited about. And remember, if your order comes to over $100 total, or if it only consists of singles, Shipping will be free in the United States. And as you already know, whenever you use that promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 is Divine Retribution. This is going up 328 to 499 for a 192% increase. As you can see from the top right hand corner of the screen there, this is a reserveless card like most of the ones you're going to see today. This is a good time to mention too how we come to our top 10 every week. We look at two major pieces of criteria. The first one is percentage increase of value. The second is an increase in true sales. So when it comes to this card in particular, as you can see, not a very powerful card at all. This feels like a pure reserveless buyout to me. It's a very niche card, even for Commander, which is a very open format. For number nine, we're going to travel to the Fallen Empires and look at Draconian Silex. This goes up 372 to 499. That is a 292% increase could help you to protect a key creature like a commander, but honestly, this doesn't see a ton of play in the format or anything like that. It is moving mostly, again, because of its status on the reserve list. Number 8 is Energy Vortex, up 834 to 1258 for a 197% increase. Another reserve list card that is drying up in the secondary market online. It is moving mostly, again, because of its status on the reserve list. Number seven is Balduvian Trading Post. It goes up 907 to $16. That's a 131% increase this week. This looks like a speculation based on the fact that other reserve list non-basic land cards from alliances have been hot recently. Things like Kaldoran Outpost and Lake of the Dead, for example. It does see a little commander play. I mean, at least it does tap for two mana. But again, not really a card that you see all that much in any format. Number six, oh, this is Subterranean Tremors. It isn't on the reserve list, and it's here. It's going up 1018 this week to 1749, and that is a 139% increase. This is a good commander card, finally. You'll see this in various builds, and now it is seeing more play because of a new Caltime card. Taralf God of Fury slash Taralf's Hammer decks will run this many times. Number five is Rebecca Wizard Savant. This one's from Homelands. It goes up 1194 to 1641. That's a 267% increase. Now, this is a Dwarf Wizard, which is unusual. I'll give it that, I suppose. And it may be moving because of Strixhaven speculation. But I think most likely this is jumping right now because people saw Baron Master Wizard and Urtai Wizard Adept jump recently. Feels like another speculative buyout. Number four is Heart of Yavimaya, up 1620 to 1999 for a 427% increase, similar to Balduvian Trading Post, which we saw earlier. I think this is going up because people saw Kaldorian Outpost and Lake of the Dead go up in value. Ultimately, this isn't a very strong card, but it does see a tad bit of commander play. Number three, the only card to remain on the list from last week, it is Wormwood Tree Folk from the Dark. It goes up 1712 to 34 That's a 96% increase. And we have seen that some of the cards from the dark are remaining hot. In fact, we're going to see one at number one in just a few moments. I will say, though, about this card, Tree Folk is a classic tribe, and Wizards has been giving a lot of support to classic tribes recently, so maybe this isn't a terrible spec. Number two is Suleiman's Legacy of 3341 to 3848 for a 659% increase. Clearly, another speculative buyout here. Some people are perhaps speculating on the fact that Wizards is supporting these big tribes, and maybe the Jinn and or a free tribes will get some love in the future. It is very possible. Does this become a good card when that happens? Well, maybe not, but again, I think the appeal here is it is a reserveless card, it's unique, and at the end of the day, this is all about speculation and nostalgia. 
In number one, here's that other card from the dark I was alluding to, Goblin Wizard up 183.69 to 284.99 for a 181% increase? Or is it? Well, I looked deeper into this card because it felt like there was some market manipulation going on here. In fact, a couple days ago, this card jumped up to about $744. It did come down pretty rapidly, as you can see, and I do think it's still coming down. I tried to go in and see if any cards have actually sold for anywhere near this price, and I couldn't find any. Near mint, pack fresh, like beautiful copies of this card, they tend to be selling for anywhere between $150 and $185, so pretty short of this $284.99. When it comes to the card itself, though, it is another reserveless wizard, which is worth noting. It also does see commander play at times in goblin tribal builds like Krenko Mob Boss. All right, that's going to do it for this week's top 10. And next week, I'm kind of hoping we see at least three cards that are not on the reserve list. Time will tell, of course, but maybe we'll get there. Until next time, as always, stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page, as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.